Hey everyone. Normally when there's a Russia update, it means bad news. Just ask Napoleon. It's often the worst kind of update you can get, short of that update that constantly pops up on your computer demanding that you upgrade Adobe Flash. So to this week's Russia update, when Robert Mueller put out a report naming 13 Russians who supposedly set up a troll farm in order to sway the result of the 2016 election. My favourite part of the report was when it talks about the Russians financing the construction of a bespoke cage large enough to hold an actress portraying Hillary Clinton in a prison uniform. Makes it sound a bit like an amateur theatre group, really. But they actually had a budget of about a million dollars a month, and that's more than Trump was spending on hair product at the time. You think with that kind of money, the Russians could just drive down to Walmart if they needed to stock up in cages, presumably along with some computers, snacks from the food aisle, energy drinks and so on, and of course some humorous political bumper stickers to put on their truck before they drove back to the HQ. On the other hand, this conspiracy does ultimately boil down to a dozen blokes posting bad things on Facebook about Hillary Clinton, and it's worth noting that they started doing it in 2016, two years before the election, and for a long time they were posting things mostly in favour of Bernie Sanders, who at the time was a more obvious anti Hillary candidate in the race. Actually, forget what I said earlier, my favourite part of this whole thing is that the troll farm called itself the quote Internet Research Agency and they abbreviated that to the IRA, implying that they were so incompetent that they couldn't use their internet superpowers to figure out that that name was already taken by a bunch of folks across the Irish Sea. Or perhaps the conspiracy is just a lot more far-reaching than I've imagined, and that the Russians were also responsible for forcing Jerry Adams out of his job and installing Mary Lou MacDonald in his place in order to make trouble for Theresa May. Who knows? Anyway, see you next week. If you like these clips, subscribe.